In this problem we've got a channel filled with water to a depth of 5 metres and we've got a gate retaining the water. The gate is 1.5 metres wide and 5 metres high and it's hinged at the top. What we're going to do in this example is assume that the gate has no mass and the hinge is offering no moment by itself. So what we're saying is that this depth of water behind the gate is applying a moment at the hinge that's trying to open the gate and this weight with a lever arm is applying a moment in the opposite direction trying to keep the gate shut. And the question we're asking is if we assume that the gate is shut what does this mass M need to be to apply a moment at this hinge equivalent to the moment from the water? So what's going on in this problem is we've got a certain force F being applied to the gate by the water and that force is acting at a certain point L dash and the product of that force times by this lever arm is going to give us a moment at the hinge that's trying to open the gate we'll call it M and then if the gate is staying shut that's because the force of this mass times acceleration times by the lever arm here is giving the equivalent moment in the opposite direction to keep the gate shut. So what we're trying to work out is what this mass M must be. So the first step is to work out this force F and what we know is that the force, total force from a body of water on a surface is the density of water times gravity times the area of the surface times the centroid of the surface. So that's our equation to work out the total force pushing on the dam. So there are two current unknowns in this equation. We don't know what the area is and we don't know what the centroid is, but we can work them out quite easily from the parameters we've been given. So the area is going to be the width of the gate times by the height of the gate, so 1.5 times 5, which gives us an area of 7.5 meters squared. The centroid is just going to be half depth, so the centroid of our gate is going to be 5 over 2, which is going to give us a centroid location of 2.5 meters. So immediately we can work out that force F as the density of gravity, sorry, the density of water times by acceleration due to gravity times by the area of the gate, which is 7.5 meters squared, times by the centroid, and that gives us a total force on the gate of 183937.5 newtons. So that's the total force F pushing on the gate. next thing we need to calculate is the location at which that force is acting. So L dash is going to be equal to the second moment of area around the neutral axis of the surface times by the area of the surface times by the centroid of the surface added to the centroid of the surface. And in order to find L dash we also need to know what the second moment of area of the surfaces about the centroid and that's going to be equal to the breadth of the gate times the height of the gate cubed over 12. So before we can work out L dash we first need to work out what the second moment of area is. So I naught is going to be equal to the breadth of the gate which is 1.5 times the height of the gate which is 5 We'll put that to the power of 3 and divide it by 12. And that gives us a second moment of area of 15.625 metres to the power of 4. So we can now work out L dash, which is going to be the second moment of area we've just calculated. So 15.625 divided by the area of the gate, so 7.5, times by the centroid. 2.5 and then added to the centroid 
So that gives us a point of action of the force from the surface of 3.33 meters. So now we know that this moment m, trying to open the gate, is going to be the force we calculated here times by the point of action that we calculated here. So that's what our moment trying to open the gate is going to be. We've also got a moment trying to close the gate, which is going to be the force acting on the lever arm times by the lever arm, and that force is going to be the mass of our weight times acceleration due to gravity. So what we can say is if this gate is closed, then the moment trying to open it, which is going to be F times L dash, must be equal to the moment trying to keep it closed, which is going to be the force here, which is the mass of our weight times gravity times by the length of our lever arm, so times by 0.8 meters. So if we want to work out what the mass of that weight must be, we can rearrange the equation to say m equals f l, l dash over acceleration due to gravity times 0.8. So all we need to do is plug in the numbers we've already calculated. So the force is going to be 1839 37.5 newtons times by our lever arm 3.33 meters divided by acceleration due to gravity and the length of our lever arm and that gives us a final mass required of 78046.9 kilograms and that is the mass required to keep our gate shut when the water level is 5 meters